Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and I'm here today with more news from the frontier. I've got a small bit, but a vital bit, as Respawn has just updated their Frontier News Network blog with a new post. That post is in regards to their DLC plans for Titanfall 2 here in 2017. Now, they also talk a little bit more about a release window for live fire which is pretty fantastic we don't have an exact release date unfortunately but we do now know that live fire will be launching in february and at the end of their blog post they also mentioned that they'll be back in two weeks with more info so i'm going to go ahead and speculate that live fire is going to be launching in early to mid february either way we now know that we will see the release of live fire before february has come and gone now what about after february what about after live fire well they also gave us some details, or at least a sneak peek, as to what we can expect in March and beyond. So March is actually going to see the launch of another map. Now this isn't a new map, it's actually the return of another Titanfall 1 map. Colony is making its way into Titanfall 2, another fan favorite, in my opinion, one of the greatest maps ever made for first person shooters. That's how highly I feel about Colony. It's extremely diverse, it has a lot of verticality, it is a very varied map with great open lines of sight, Close quarters combat for both pilots and titans, plenty of choke points, just plenty of awesome chaotic variety. One of my favorite TF1 maps and one of my all-time greatest and most favorite multiplayer maps in a first-person shooter. So happy to see this make its way into Titanfall 2. I'm also quite happy to see Respawn respecting and appreciating the value of maps they designed in the original Titanfall. It's going to be great to see how it's held up and just how awesome it is to play it with the tools and toys we have here in Titanfall 2. Now they also talked a little bit about after March as I mentioned. We do know that there will be another DLC drop coming after Live Fire, probably after March that is going to be very big. They're calling this one a doozy so we're going to have new Prime Titans with this, more cosmetics to purchase in the store and it's also going to bring a large patch that's going to focus on bug fixes, balance tweaks and bringing new features online. That's probably the thing that I'm most excited about. I'm already looking forward to the update to mixtape that's supposed to drop with live fire. And I love the idea, or at least having the knowledge that Respawn is looking on retooling and you know, sort of involving and improving the Titanfall 2 experience all the time. So I'm looking forward to seeing just what those new features are. I think it's very important that we, they look at ways to improve the overall Titanfall 2 experience to make it more welcoming to new players and to better improve the retention rate of said new players. Now on top of that, that update's also going to bring a new weapon, a new pilot execution, and more unannounced content. Now they made it very clear in this blog post that this is just a taste of the free content coming to Titanfall 2 between February and March. So there's the possibility for much more stuff that we just haven't learned about yet to be dropping alongside of Line Fire and also alongside of Colony before we get that next big drop. Really excited about this, guys. Awesome to see Respawn on board to support this game for 2017. Believe it or not, it's only been like three or four months since Titanfall 2 went live, and we as players, as a community, have done a lot, and Respawn as a developer has done a lot as well. So I'm really looking forward to riding along into 2017. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Live Fire and its creation, there's a great interview inside of this blog post with the lead designer on the mode, Griffin Dean. I strongly recommend you give it a read. There's some awesome insight into the creation of Live Fire, and he also talks a little bit about their prototyping process for creating new modes, which I think is just fantastic. I love this sort of thing, and I did want to stop and talk a little bit about the inspiration for Live Fire. Now, when we first saw Live Fire, I said that it looked a lot like Halo 5 Guardians Breakout Mode, which was actually a mode that was inspired by Speedball. 343 was actually inspired by Speedball, which is a form of paintball. That's why I didn't really reference Trials and Destiny, because Trials and Destiny is just basically a 3v3 sort of last person standing mode. You know, there, there's nothing about the maps that are used for Trials or the design of that game mode that is really specific. It's just competitive Destiny in the same map that you played the regular game in. Breakout, however, for Guardians, had maps specifically designed to give you lines of sight, early lines of sight, to really focus on, again, the breakout, which is the initial moment when the match starts in a mode of speedball. So that was all about split-second decision-making and, you know, really aggressive tactics. The idea that you're basically making advanced tactical decisions 
almost instinctively. That is the same idea with Live Fire, and as it turns out, Live Fire was also inspired by speedball matches in Paintball. They want to capture the spirit of those lightning fast matches, the importance of the breakout, the importance of that split to second decision making, and bake it into the Live Fire game mode. This is why I'm excited for Live Fire, guys. I know that a lot of people want to see Titan modes. They're like, I need a Titan, it's Titanfall. I think it's important that Respawn embraces all of the facets and aspects that make Titanfall Titanfall. All of the elements that make Titanfall Titanfall. And that includes the pilot only portion of the game. That is just as important as the Titan portion of the game. They don't always have to be smushed together like a PB and J. Occasionally, you can have the peanut butter by itself and it can still be really good. Now, I don't think pilots versus pilots is that mode. I do think live fire can be that mode. A mode that really respects and appreciates the high mobility and tactical nature of the pilot only gameplay in Titanfall 2 and really well represents it. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm more excited about it now after reading that interview and I think at the end of the day a lot of you should give it a go because it just might end up being something quite special. There you have it ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions or thoughts of your own in regards to this update, in regards to the return of Colony, if you want to tell me what Prime Titan you would like to see most next, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. I'm still working on that new closer, so I'll see you in the next one.